Apparently Munchax really love it when you get when you scratch their pedicle. Look at that. He was just all over the place and now he just paused. How vulnerable he is to me right now. Let's just he's completely not Oh that's amazing. <laughs> The Reeves Mudjack. A small little tiny just starting to get antlers. Deer. This is a deer. It's a member of the Cervidae. There's the family that includes deer, roe deer, fallow deer, moose, caribou, uh, white-tailed deer, uh, black-tailed deer, uh, the South American Pudu. Uh, sambar deer, the rusa, all those species. Mudjack. Mudjack sits very much at the beginning and the base of that tree, that family. It's an animal that is just starting to get its antlers, right? Um, the antlers are very small. These are it right there. They're connected to a bony pedicle and they still have these very well developed fang fangs. Um, because they uh, they hail from a family where, um, from the same family where water deer, Chinese water deer, tufted deer, uh, hail from, and they all have these big fangs. The Chinese water deer does not have any antlers. The tufted deer you can only hardly call them call them antlers. They're just tiny little sprites of bone. But these things are starting to develop this brow tine and then this beginning other larger antler tine. It's a very cool looking critter, man. It, it looks like a dragon. The skull is just dramatic. It's got these ridges that kind of terminate into this beautiful antler. It's got this pedicle. It's got this bump on its head where the sutures were. The sutures were tremendous. I'm like rubbing all up in his gland and shit. That's crazy. He could have me right now if he really wanted to. It's got antlers, it's got fangs, it's got these giant antorbital ant fenestra, which are their, um, I think they're, they're the area where there's a big gland. And this place is just dramatic. It, it corresponds to this side of our face, right? Our orbit right there. Same thing goes here. The orbit is the orbit is here, and then this giant pocket which has which goes up in. It's really deep. It holds that gland. You can see this is a gland, and then right there by his eye, that's also a gland. And this right here, that's his pedicle. That's his bone. That's the nose, that's the nose hole. Those are its teeth. That's its jaw right there. That's the muscle that connects it to the, to the skull, the masseter muscle. The same muscle that we have here. The temporalis muscle. The ratio between the development in the temporalis muscle and in the masseter muscle. The masseter muscle is massive. It's your cheek muscle. It's the muscle that does a lot of Sideways jaw movement, a lot of sideways jaw movement in all ruminants. This is a ruminant, this is an animal that eats grass, shrubs, plant material. And he's got these very characteristic selenodont teeth that have the zigzag pattern. See the fangs too, man, look at these fangs, they're sharp. That's a sharp little fang. That's a good jack. That's a good jack. Right there. You are a good boy.
And now I smell like that boy. Oh, that's a big. <laughs> 